welcome back to my channel so i want to talk about the heavy added construction on this campus it has gotten so bad and it's crazy because when i chose to come here um i um didn't know that george mason was like known for having a lot of construction because even when i came to visit like two years ago um, I didn't see a lot of construction on campus, so I wasn't aware of that. But people who either go here or um, used to go here or they just live in the area, they know that George Mason is known for having a lot of construction. But it has just gotten so bad now. So, you know, freshman year, um, like I said, it wasn't that bad first semester. But second semester in the wintertime when we came back, there was a pathway from... Um, my dining hall south side to the jc and um you know it was like a long walkway and that got closed down from construction and everybody was like confused we're like what but i was able to i was able to kind of move past that and then they decided they wanted to tear down and redo robinson a um which actually robinson a looks pretty Good. like it's, it's coming together i can see the vision i can see the process it's coming together but um you know that was like a huge thing um but yeah like the construction has just gotten really really bad so now and actually up until yesterday um all of south side the dining hall was blocked like you couldn't get in either way um but yesterday they created like a small pathway i have not seen it but they created a pathway for you to get to south side but everything is really really blocked off um and i came back to campus early so um i was able to kind of see you know what was going on before everybody else and I had to go get my mail one day and I was walking to the hub and then I realized that I couldn't get to the hub the way I normally get there. Um, because I live in Northern Neck, so it's like impossible to go from Northern Neck straight to the hub. You know, I have to walk around past the construction that's happening from for Robinson, go past that um, and then go past the JC and then go around that way down the stairs by planetary and that really bothered me because that was one of the ways that i take to get to my classes um especially if i'm running late like i would always take those stairs by south side but now all of that is blocked off it's gonna take me like an extra five to ten minutes to get to my classes now it's so aggravating and i just wish they would have let people know i wish they i don't know i feel like I feel like they just, um, they didn't really take us into consideration. Like, I get it. I'm all for expanding and growing the campus. But yeah, I'm all for expanding and growing the campus. But I don't agree with them wanting to redo so many things at one time. Like, maybe one or two projects, but not, like the whole i feel like the whole campus is under construction and i don't like that i don't like feeling like i'm in a construction zone everywhere like like i can't even think of anywhere nice that you would go to take like pictures because there's even like little areas sectioned off for construction by the statue by the mason statue like it's everywhere like you can't even enjoy the scenery anymore and like the little patches of like grass and trees that people used to use for pictures and stuff like that or just to chill or put those like huge cute things all of that is fenced off they have big green fences everywhere you can't you can't see anything you can't enjoy the scenery and even when you make your way Even when you make your way down to um, like Enterprise and Innovations and all those other buildings, it's like they've like created like a pathway for you to go. Like they put signs up and it's like, oh, you have to go here and go there and go this way. Like it's, 
it's so like inconvenient and like I feel like a lot of people are gonna be late for their classes on the first day because it's just it's really bad like it doesn't look good at all and I just think that we should have been considered more and I think that we're more important than some buildings like I said I'm all for George Mason you know renovating and you know like I'm 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 like I agree with them like remodeling stuff and like really innovating the campus but you have to keep us in mind you have to keep our safety in mind and like what's the point of doing all this if it's just gonna make people upset it's gonna make people not want to come here like I really hope that they're not having tours um this semester because people are not going to want to come here and seeing all of that like that's going to mess your you that's, that's going to mess up george mason and them recruiting more students to come here because what is there to enjoy like ugh, i don't know i just i i don't like it and i think we should have more of a say so as to where all of our tuition money is going to because i just like no i i don't know and maybe i'm wrong correct me if i'm wrong but I don't know too many other colleges that have so many construction projects going on at one time. Maybe one, maybe two, but not everywhere. Like the fact that they had to send an email out saying, because they sent the email out about all the added construction, which I don't think they do all the time, but they did it this time because it's so much. And towards the end of the email, they literally said, make sure you route where your classes are going to be at ahead of time to accommodate for everything that's being blocked off and like that's so unnecessary like why did you do that why did you add all this construction like there's no benefit to it yet in the end it might benefit us but right now no um i honestly think some of these projects could have waited and I really hope it doesn't look like this for the last like two years that I'm going to be here. Like I really hope that some of these projects will wrap up during the summertime. Um, and yeah, I just, it's just ridiculous. We'll see um, how this is going to go. I pray to God that whatever, whatever projects they've started, like that's it. Like they're not going to start anything else. And another thing too is that there's nothing that we can do to stop that. Like once they, once you start the process of construction and you start digging up stuff out the ground, that's it. You can't reverse it. Like yeah, you can you can stop, but those areas are going to be blocked off until it's finished. So hopefully they just continue to work on whatever they're working on. Man, at least with Robinson B, we know what the outcome is going to look like. Um, they have the um like picture of what the final project is supposed to look like and what the final outcome of the building is supposed to look like and it's actually looking pretty good but as far as like the walkways and stuff i don't know what they're doing with that like it it was perfectly fine before no one was complaining about the walkways or anything like that like everything that they're trying to fix it was fine the way it was and i hate that they're cutting down so many trees like four what like global warming is already crap <laughs> we don't need to be cutting down any more trees right now but um yeah anyway so we'll see how all of this ends up panning out hopefully most of it will get finished by the time i graduate from here and yeah but let me know what you guys think um in the comments down below make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye